Comboing in Minecraft can be super hard. Even with like 17 billion tutorials on it, some people still can't hold combos consistently. Well, that's where I come in, where I actually will explain how you can combo lock on Hypixel. I'm going to seriously mention every single thing you will need to do to combo on Hypixel for games like Bed Wars, Sky Wars, or Duels. Before we begin, please remember to subscribe if you enjoy. I spend a ton of time researching and coming up with new ideas, so the support would really help me out. Anyway, let's get started. Combos work in Minecraft when your enemy is moving slower than you. Because of ping and other Minecraft mechanics, whenever you are moving towards someone faster, you have a bigger window to get a hit. This is what my understanding of combos and hits in Minecraft is. I seriously don't know how true it is, so don't quote me on this. Just know you need to be moving faster than your enemy to get the first hit. You don't have to hack into the game files to find like the data on this one, it's really not that deep. You can move faster than your enemy by giving yourself speed, giving them slowness, or more commonly, slowing them down by rotting snowballing, bowing, or placing blocks in front of them. This is why you can combo as you're basically constantly slowing your enemy down and keeping them from getting into your range, as they don't have forward momentum to hit you since you keep knocking them back. Now there are lots of ways to hold combos with many different techniques. The ones I'm going to talk about today are W tapping, strafe combos, S tapping, block hitting, jump comboing, and then a weird section that I'm calling flex combos. I'm not going to spoil what the flex combos are, but you should seriously stick around to the end of the video to see what I mean. To start with W tapping, you essentially need to let go of W in between hits on someone, which resets your sprint and deals the full amount of knockback. By the way, I use ESDF, so just don't get confused here. Just know that I'm still W tapping, it's just different keys, I just moved it over to the right. You've probably heard this a million times from me, Intel edits, or literally any person that has done a PvP tutorial before. The thing is we're talking about Hypixel specifically for this video. If you play on Mindman, Lunar, or literally any other server, you can W tap between every single hit reliably and not have to worry about your enemy's knockback, since on those servers it actually functions correctly. For some reason, Hypixel knockback makes me want to uninstall all the game because it's literally so terrible. You hit someone once and they fly off the face of the earth. Another factor that I'll touch on more later is that some players who click faster actually are slowed down more when comboing, so you'll need to W tap even harder if you have high CPS. Because of these things, you can't just W tap after every single hit like everyone says. You'll sometimes actually have to hold W or do some other method to maintain your speed and not send them to the moon. A great example of someone actually doing this well is I use Hazuni, a great sumo YouTuber. If you check his keystrokes, he reacts to every single hit and sees if he should W tap or not. When the enemy is too close to him, he W taps. If they're too far away, he opts to hold W instead since he doesn't want to send them too far away and lose the combo. Again, this is extremely difficult to do. Even a player as skilled as him can't reliably hold a combo like he can on Mindman, which is a part of what makes high pixel combos so impossible to hold. You seriously have to change the way you play just to be able to hold a combo that's more than 4 hits on Hypixel. To summarize, learning how to be reactive with your W tapping and being able to quickly react to your enemy's knockback is the best way to be able to combo lock on Hypixel. Quick intermission by the way, since I don't want to waste your time, just make sure to join my Discord, a uh, link is in the description, and also sub and like, you know the drill. Thanks gamers, and back to the video. Because of the confusing nature of Hypixel, lots of players instead rely on other methods to maintain combos, such as strafe combos. This is more of a blanket term for many different types of combos, and if done right, you can get a really nice combo lock on someone. Instead of just W tapping and straight lining, you can use a combination of A and D to do two different things. A and D strafes not only make you harder to hit, as you're moving back and forth pretty quickly, but you can also slow yourself down whenever you move side to side. Just know, if you only strafe, you will get absolutely rolled by your enemies, as you'll end up getting too close to them a lot and won't be able to hold a combo that's more than 2-3 to three hits. That's why I like to combine W tapping and strafing sometimes and do both, pressing A and D in between W taps in an extremely elegant and fancy way I might add. Literally, this is about as close as you can get to being that Giga Chad guy from that one meme. Like if you manage to do this consistently, you'll not only be able to hold crazy combos, but you'll look sick as hell too. Some common strafe patterns are where you switch back and forth between A and D between each hit, or where you hold just one side and run circles around them like a dog chasing their own tail. The reason I mentioned W tapping and strafe combos first is because you will use them 99% of the time on Hypixel, either a combination of both or just one at a time. Since we're talking Hypixel, being able to react quickly to inconsistent KV is essential. If you're fighting someone and they start looking like they're cosplaying the SpaceX rocket that's going to Mars, I'd suggest mostly abusing strafes and not spamming W taps all the time since you'll only be able to hold a combo that's like 1 to 2 hits before they fly off. If your enemy is the opposite and takes basically no KV at all, then abuse W tapping instead. 
side. Sometimes players are in between and will jump back and forth between taking tons of KB and not moving at all, which means you'll need to change strategies mid combo lock. Fortunately, I have the perfect method for this, and we in the business call it S-tapping. There's sort of two different versions of S-tapping. One is literally just a worse W-tap that leaves your hand incapable of strafing to one side, and the other makes you look baller as hell. Take your pick. The stupid one that I will hate wholeheartedly for the rest of my life is where you press S on top of holding W. This immediately stops your movement and leaves you standing still, which is literally the same as W-tapping. When you let go of W, you stand still too. It literally serves no difference. It's literally just W-tapping, but instead of removing your hand from one button, you just hold two buttons. Guys that do this S-tapping are literally just looking like they're piloting an airplane with the amount of buttons they've got to press. It, it's so stupid, I don't understand it. Now that I explained how stupid that version of S-tapping is, by the way, I don't know if you can can tell but I'm very obviously joking. You do you man, just play the game however you want. The actually good S tap is where you actually let go of W and press S to move backwards. I would unironically buy someone's OnlyFans if they just posted S tap combos. Like this shit is so clean if you hit it right. There are three main reasons why you may use S tapping over W tapping in certain situations. The first being if you need to back away from your enemy. For example, if you were W tapping really hard in one part of the combo lock and noticed that you're way too close to your enemy, S tapping would be a good play as you'll be able to continue holding the combo but also help yourself back up so you aren't right in their face and get hit by them. Another situation would be if you get someone against a wall. Once someone is against a wall, they won't get any backwards KB and will only go upwards, so use your understanding of combos and peek in and out of their range at optimal times and dodge their hits with strafes and S-taps. The last situation would be if your enemy is way too bulky and takes no KB. S-tapping can be great against these 600 pound sumo wrestlers as when they're moving backwards, like one block at a time, you can press S to dodge incoming hits, then W key back into them, and then repeat for each hit. Next, let's look at block hitting. No, I'm not talking about that one where you alternate between left click and right click. It looks stupid as hell, man. It not only makes you look like you're playing in 2015, but it also slows down your movement way too much, and any good player will take advantage of it and combo you. I don't know which two brain cell player decided to call it block hitting, but the new one is actually completely different. This block hitting involves just pressing right click one time, and slowing yourself down to cancel your sprint. By holding it down for any amount of time, primarily just a quick click for Hypixel, you can actually reset your sprint and keep a combo just like W tapping or S tapping. Honestly, in my opinion, block hitting is one of the best ways to learn how to sprint reset if you're a beginner. I believe it's pretty easy to learn considering that everything is focused on your mouse. Just practice with your friends, uh, if you if you have any. <laughs> practice with friends or other players and literally just hold down W and focus solely on using your mouse. That's the real advantage of block hitting in my opinion as if you have them in a combo lock anyway, it's not not like the blocking is going to matter since you know you're comboing them and they're not going to hit you so <laughs> just make sure to remember that this acts exactly the same as w tapping and then you don't want to spam it on high pixel it's a super hard task when you're playing live as you have to react extremely fast you'll have to use your own judgment to see if you could block it or just continue clicking in some cases since you could send them too far just like w tapping and s tapping if you're in the mood to style on some kids you've got to learn how to jump combo it's been a thing for a while now but more youtubers have started clipping people with it recently including Ayu's Hazuni, who I mentioned earlier, which has made it way, way more popular. The idea is to jump right after hitting your enemy and then W tap midair to maintain a three block distance. If that sounds hard, it's because it is. It's extremely hard to do. It seriously feels like you have to become Einstein midair and calculate the velocity of your falling to compare it to the angle of your opponent's hitbox. I'm kidding, it's not actually that deep, you just press spacebar once. The thing that separates W tapping and jump comboing though is that when you let go of W on the ground, you stop instantly, so it's really easy to control your movement. If you're jump comboing though, you will continue moving forward even after letting go of W because you're in the air and still have forward momentum, meaning you might get too close to them and actually get hit. Also, you're at a much higher angle than them, so you're basically reducing your own reach while jump comboing as you're giving yourself a steeper angle to hit them at. You might ask then, well, why even jump combo if it's just a really hard combo to maintain? Well, if you manage to time it on the downward for every single hit, every single hit will be a crit. This means that if you were to get a 10 hit jump crit combo, it's essentially equal to a 15 hit normal combo since crits do 50% more damage. I'm no genius, but holding a 10 hit combo seems easier than holding a 15 hit combo. That's the difference between us boys, I'm the one that can do the math there. I can figure out that 10 is less than 15. That's why I'm, that's why I'm the YouTuber here boys, that's why I'm
All that being said, I really only recommend doing this method at the end of a combo or between some hits in a combo lock, as chaining many of them together like you'll see people do on Mind Men or Lunar is impossibly hard on Hypixel. I'm still including it in this list because it's super powerful if you use it between combos as a little extra damage or at the end of a combo. Just know, it's probably not your fault if you can't combo lock anyone with it. Just blame the server like everyone else does. <laughs> Sort of like jump comboing, these are more of a joke and are only used to meme or flex on your enemy. Like don't actually use these combos unless you're trying to show off your amazing skills on a girl or something. So basically just, just never use these as you're probably not going to do that anytime soon. Inventory tapping or e-tapping has to be the funniest thing I have ever seen. Basically what you do, what you do is you, you go in your inventory and, and then you exit and then you hit them and then that, that's, that's literally it. You just, you just use the fact that you stop moving when you go into your inventory to reset your sprint and hold a combo. I can't believe this is a real thing. <laughs> to be honest, from a third person POV, it literally looks like you just tabbed out a Minecraft mid combo. It's it's so awesome. The next flex combo is called shift tapping, and to be honest, it unironically could be super useful. Shift tapping is where you press shift to reset your sprint, but since it's directed by your pinky, unless you're Luvinox, this actual psychopath uses his thumb to press shift. How is that even how's that even possible? I literally don't understand this video. But because it's directed by your pinky, you have a full range of motion left with your other keys, which which is so much better than some other methods such as S-tapping which we talked about earlier since it restricts the amount of fingers you can have on your strafe keys. You also mentally destroy your enemy when you shift tap as seeing someone twerk combo you is probably about as embarrassing as it can get. Also yes I unironically started calling it twerk comboing while making this video and I have no plan of stopping so shut up about it. Somehow even more important than all this though is the main reason why I'm gonna mention it. When you shift tap though you continue moving forward while sprint resetting at the same time which can be a crazy good way to hold the combo as, instead of letting go of W and instantaneously pressing it down again, you can just calmly hold your shift button and make up the ground instead. It sounds like a meme and seems toxic as hell, but when I was getting footage, I got rolled by the number 2 boxing player and he was shift tapping on me. Another great combo that I absolutely love is the 1 CPS combo. It's not actually 1 CPS by the way, it's 2 CPS, but just 1 CPS sounds so much cooler man. If you can manage to start a combo, 1 CPS could actually be a good move for two different reasons. Firstly, it's easier to aim with, and two, you won't be slowed down by unnecessary clicks. You see, another thing I hinted at earlier but didn't elaborate on is how CPS affects your combos. When you click faster, you actually have a slight movement debuff because of how Minecraft hits register. Even while red, where your enemy doesn't take any damage at all, hits will still register on them. It works against all entities, even unhittable people. Seriously, try this out and go into a Bed Wars lobby. Click super slowly and hold W at an AFK person. You'll basically move at full speed while clicking on them. Now click as fast as you possibly can with jittering or butterflying and then hold W into an AFK person. You'll notice that you'll suddenly move extremely slowly. With 1 CPS though, it can be easier to hold combos as you don't have to focus so intently on W tapping so hard and can instead go slower and focus more on timing your hits. The last flex combo I'm going to be including is my personal favorite. It's 360 comboing, you know, you know I had to do it. I, I literally love farming clips with it. You've probably seen it in like half my videos. I'll just, I'll just 360 randomly just for fun. You'll lose way more often since you're too busy trying to become a Beyblade, but when you do land a nice clip, it's so satisfying. Essentially, you start a combo, then between every hit, you throw your mouse across the room, hit them, throw it across the other way, and then repeat. 360-ing in fights is genuinely so much fun. If you just 360 right before engaging in fights, I guarantee you most new players will type in chat saying you're cheating. It looks sus as hell when your head just spins and locks on the enemy. For even more general tips, just know that CPS doesn't really matter for combos. I may be planning on making a video where I go in depth on this topic, but just know that CPS literally doesn't matter at all once you get someone in a combo. You see, when you hit someone, they become red for half a second and can't get damaged again in that time. Because of this, when you're getting in extra clicks while they're red, literally none of them are dealing damage, so it's basically just pointless. The only ones that actually matter are the ones when they're not in that red zone, which means that if you're clicking 5 CPS, you can still hold combos since we talked about about all these different sprint resetting methods. The window to hold a combo is super lenient for the most part, so don't worry about maxing out your CPS to get better at PvP, aim is just way more important in the long run. Basically, CPS only matters for the first hit and nothing else, and yes, you do take less KB so it does help in trades, but that's only at the very highest level of play. If you just want to win Bed Wars against a bunch of 3 year olds, you really don't have to worry about maxing out your CPS, as you can beat 95% of players by just clicking however you want. After mentioning all these different methods and all these different tips, I think it's important to say that combo locking is not linear. It's not as simple as saying, learn these keystrokes or learn this technique. Minecraft wasn't made for PvP, so it's not optimized for sweaty nerds breaking their mind trying to click on each other. 
The best way to learn to effectively combo lock is to find one or two techniques from this video and try to find a pattern or set of keystrokes that works well for you personally. Not every player will take the same KB because of ping, CPS, and general hypixel lag. This means that not every player can be comboed in the same way, and some of them may not be able to be comboed at all because they're cheating or something. This basically means it's up to your judgement to tell how you should combo them and which method you should use. Hypixel is extremely hard to combo lock on, so please do not be discouraged if you can't get it consistently. Just being able to hold a 4-5 to five hit combo is extremely good and will win you 99% of fights. By the way gamers, thank you so much for getting me to 5k. I am planning on doing a special soon, and I have an idea for a topic that has been highly requested for so long, so uh, comment down what stuff you want to see. I, I'm probably going to do this, this idea that I have, but um, just you know, keep commenting anyway. I want to see what you guys want. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video, by the way. You know I spend so much time scripting, getting clips, researching and whatnot, so any support is appreciated. Again, thank you gamers so much, and I'll see you guys next time.